Good morning students, this is the class for 4th standard science subject and science our second lesson is matter and materials. Okay students, in the last class we have seen the definition of matter, then different types of matter and also the uh, definition of materials. Okay, materials and the examples of materials we have seen on that day. Okay, next what we have seen, uh, we have seen the uh, different properties of materials. Okay, in that uh, properties of material on that day we, we are so we have saw the different types of properties of material okay first one is a hard and soft material and second one is a shiny and dull material okay so we are now we are going to see about the third properties okay so what is that means rough and smooth materials okay what is that rough and smooth materials so in the case of a rough material the materials which have ups and downs downs on the surface okay the material which will have a up surface and a down surface okay that is belongs to the rough material okay For for example tire okay in the case of a tire there is a up surface and also the down surface okay same as in the bricks also okay students whereas in the case of a smooth material and the material which do not have okay do not have up surface and a down surface on the surface okay students uh, uh, for example uh, in the case of a mirror okay in the case of a mirror the front side and the back side both are same okay we can uh, we can't differentiate the uh, which one is up surface or which one is down surface okay so we can't differentiate the surfaces in the case of a mirror stone okay like that so that belongs to the smooth materials okay Examples for rough and smooth materials are uh, for the rough materials we have one tire, brick and a rock. Okay. Whereas for smooth materials, mirror, tiles and a silk cloth. Okay. So in the case of your tiles also we can't differentiate the which one is up surface or which one is down surface. Okay, students. So this belongs to the smooth materials and this one is the rough materials. Okay. So next properties is what means flexible and rigid material. Okay. Flexible and rigid material material already you know the meaning of uh, flexible okay what is that flexible means it can be bent okay it can be easily bent means it belongs to the flexible material okay so in the case of your fle flexible material the material can be easily bent or stretched okay stretched means we can press it okay so uh, which can be easily bent or stretched means that is material is known as the flexible material okay for example rubber band cycle tube and uh, electric wire okay so these are all can be easily bent or stretched okay whereas in the case of a rigid material the material which do not uh, which can't okay easily bent or stretched okay so that is known as the rigid material for example a stick a wooden scale or stone okay so these materials which do not um, bent or stretched easily okay so that is known as the rigid material so next property is what means waterproof materials okay waterproof materials means you know already what is an example for waterproof material we wear the raincoat okay so that is the waterproof material example for waterproof material okay in this case the materials do not allow water okay in this case the material which do not allow water to pass through them okay to pass through them so adhubaliya water vandu pass aayi poradhukku it will be uh, stopped okay stop pannir adhubaliya water poradhukku okay so that the material which do not allow water to pass through them okay pass through the rain, raincoat are passed through the any materials okay that is known as the waterproof material for example raincoat and aluminium foil aluminium foil means um, in the hotel uh, the rice is uh, packing uh, packing uh, packed by use of the aluminium foil okay so that is the aluminium foil okay next topic is what means transparent transluent and opaque object okay i repeat transparent transluent and opaque object okay students so have you ever seen through the bus window 
yes you can through the bus window we can see the other objects outside which are at uh, outside the bus okay through the bus window we can see the other object which are at which are placed at the outside of the bus okay students so by using that phenomena we can see the these three different types of topics okay so first one is what means transparent object okay what is that transparent object okay so it means this allow the light to pass through them this allow the light that is pass through them okay here in this case the light is pass through through this material okay the material which is allow the light to pass through them adu valiya poga kudiya and the light enna panuma these materials are allowed okay so this allow to light pass through them material so we can see the other object okay if the light is pass through through the material means easily we can see the other objects okay other objects which are at outside of the bus okay so we can see the other objects clearly where in the case of a transparent material okay so example for these transparent objects are air glass and pure water by using of the glass uh, clearly we can see the other images which are at outside of the glass okay so these are the examples of transparent object okay so next one is transluent object okay what is that transluent objects okay so uh, what is this means this allow some light to pass through them okay some light okay here some light is allowed to pass through the material uh, in the case of transparent object this will completely allow the light okay not a restricted case this will completely allow the light to pass through them whereas in the case of a transparent object it will um, it will allow the light as partially that means a half of the amount of light okay partially means half of the amount okay so this allow the half of the amount or some light to pass through the material okay students in the case of a transluent object we can't see the other object clearly okay as a, at the outside of the object we can't uh, see clear image okay but we can see the masia blurred image okay complete light fall ahadnala we can't see the image but we can see the blurred blurred image of this okay blurred means uh, blurred is nothing but unclear okay blurred means what it's a unclear image so we can see the unclear image in the case of a transluent object. object okay students so what are the example for this is this is snow and vegetables oil okay snow and vegetable oil are the example of transluent object okay students so other topic is what means opaque object what is that opaque object this do not allow the okay here the material do not allow the light to pass through them so complete ing enna panirro rexit it will be stopped it will be rexit taduthuru adu valiya pogakudiya light okay va so the material which do not allow the light to pass through them is called the opaque material or opaque object okay students so the example for this is, is wood stone and metals okay so if the light is passed through through the wood means or stone means or metal means uh, the light will not appear on the other side of the surface okay so it is do not allow the light to pass through so that's why it's called as opaque object okay students thank you